Hey guys, we're back again with another bougie versus budget and in today's bougie versus budget we're comparing Ylang and Gold with Hane Mori, Hane Mori. So this one goes for about $30 per bottle. This one goes for about 300 ish. It's 225 euro, I believe. So convert that to your local currency. Quite a big price difference between the two, but is there a significant difference in scent? I compared them both, I wore them both a lot, so I'm gonna tell you how they compare so you guys are armed with the knowledge to make the decision on whether it's worth it to splurge or to penny pinch. So you guys know that I do really love Ylang and Gold and I've been wearing it nonstop. Since I got it in the winter time, I have not stopped wearing it. Like I wear it intermittently, then I go back to it for a week and then I take a break from it. And I have not gravitated as aggressively to the Hane Mori. I've had this one for a lot longer and I just wasn't as drawn to it. So off the bat, there is that, like the Ylang and Gold does have this like magnetic pull and this like really magical quality to it. So I have the Ylang and Gold here and it has this like, I always describe, it opens up with this beautiful banana-esque custardy sweetness. That banana-esque, like there's no banana note really, but to me it really smells like a creamy delicious banana pudding. It is so delicious. It like reminds me a little bit of that banana taste of like antibiotics that I used to have in my childhood, which I was obsessed with and I love them so much. Like it's that kind of like creamy, like almost candy-esque banana. Yum. And then this beautiful ylang, these lovely florals, this woodiness, vanilla, everything together is magical. It's a little peachy, it's a little musky, it's really, really beautiful. So that is Ylang and Gold on the opening and kind of like that first impression that you get. The Hane Mori, it does have a custardy opening as well, but it lacks that banana-esque fruitiness. This fragrance, it claims to have a lot of berry notes, like strawberry, blackberry, but I don't smell any of that. It really smells like a custardy vanilla a little bit synthetic, a lot softer in terms of that like impact and the impression that it makes in the opening. It's a lot softer than the Ylang and Gold. Like the Ylang and Gold really has a wow factor where this one is a pleasant custardy, fruity, woody vanilla. It's still nice. It still has this creaminess, but it lacks that like depth and complexity and this really like delectable mouth watering opening that the Ylang and Gold has. And it is a little bit sharper. So obviously the ingredients that are used in the Hane Mori, they're not as expensive and obviously it is a budget fragrance. So it, it is reflected in the scent profile. It is a little bit more sharp, but the Ylang and Gold, so the like the wearing experience, the wearing experience when I wore it several times around people, I get noticed every time and it does project well and it does have quite a wow factor so every time that i do wear it i do get noticed and normally i spray about 10 times of the Lang and gold i'll spray it 10 sprays at least sometimes more so you do need to spray like more than a couple sprays with this one when you spray a couple of sprays with the Lang and gold what happens is it does tend to kind of fade much quicker when i spray less i notice if i spray two sprays in about a couple of hours, it fades to just a pleasant kind of sweet woody vanilla scent and just goes kind of fades into the base much faster. But if I spray more and I spray it on the clothing, I catch that banana-esque custardy sweetness and those lovely florals and the fruitiness for a lot longer. So I do spray 10 times and I mix it between like putting it on the pulse points and on clothing. And then it does project. When I walk into the office and I walk by, it does leave a trail and people can smell it. So it does perform quite well on my skin. I get about eight, nine hours quite easily and that was even like in the cooler weather that I wore it and it performed really really well in the cooler weather. In the warmer weather like right now it's summer here and it's it's fantastic like I get it all day so I really don't have any performance issues with Ylang and Gold. I know that some people do have performance issues and my skin tends to be a sponge and just soak up a fragrance and fragrances actually don't tend to last on me but the I guess the concoction that's in here happens to really agree with my skin chemistry so I do get really good longevity and performance on this and people can smell it. But I do spray a lot so maybe that's the thing. I do always spray at least 10 sprays of it 
and yeah, eight, nine hours easily. And then towards like towards the end of the wearing, it does get closer to the skin and I can still smell it on myself, but like towards like the end, like the last couple of hours of the wearing, it is more of a soft, sweet, woody, vanilla-esque dry down. And it's really beautiful, but it's more of like a, a skin scent at that point. It's still, it's still lovely, but I do get good projection for the first while, and that is the Langen Gold. So in terms of performance with the Hane Mori, this one does not project as much, and I spray the same amount of it, but when I walk by, it doesn't perform and it doesn't project quite as much, and people couldn't smell it as much, so I, I asked everybody about this one at my office and they said it's still nice but I wore it back to back so I wore Ylang and Gold one day and then I wore the Hanay Mori the next day so that I could compare and poll everyone at my workplace and they said that the one that I wore yesterday this one was better and was like a wow factor fragrance where this one was just nice and this one they couldn't smell as much so it doesn't leave as strong of a trail it doesn't um really pack that much of a punch it's just nice it is very similar they did say it is very similar and everybody agreed on that front but it's just lacking it doesn't have that magic that the Langen gold has it doesn't have this beautiful sweetness and it does have a little bit of like a plasticky play-doh vibe and that could be the almond tree. I know that there's almonds sometimes can smell a little bit pasty, um, possibly or possibly just because of like slightly cheaper ingredients used. But that plasticky vibe is subtle. It's not irritating. Like it doesn't really take too much away from the fragrance. It's just when you smell this, this is like, just it just falls you know what i mean and it doesn't have the wow factor and it really it's just not as opulent and as full-bodied and rich and expensive luxury smelling as this one like this one people that know that i'm obsessed with fragrances always like will ask they'll be like is that one of your fancy ones is that one of those expensive ones yeah because people like even not people that are in the fragrance world can smell how like complex and high quality this is it really comes out in the fragrance so for me i do strongly prefer this and now that like they've dried down i'll smell them again side by side the lang and gold i can smell strong i can still smell the fruitiness and that delicious custardy vibe and this one on the paper is almost gone and this is the henne mori it's a soft vanilla -y, Pleasant scent, like really still pleasant, but I can already hardly smell it on the paper. So yeah, performance wise, also with the Hane Mori, it's only about six hours, like six hours and it's gone. But during those six hours, you do get a little bit of a plasticky vibe. So you like in gold, you have eight, nine hours with the Hane Mori, you get like probably five, six hours. But the price point is a lot lower. So yes, they do smell very similar. So if you wanted to kind of smell what a Langen Gold smells like and you you can't find it anywhere, you don't get a chance to try it, Hane Mori would be good to try to determine if that scent profile is even for you. But for me, I strongly, strongly, strongly prefer the Langen Gold. I wear it all the time. I gravitate towards it. It's one of my favorite Wow, this light coming through my window is really bright. It's one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. And like I said, I've had this one for probably a couple years longer than I've had this. And in the couple years that I had it, before I got Ylang and Gold and had to actually compare the two, I think I wore it maybe two or three times. In the two years that I owned it, I only wore it two or three times. But when I got my hands on this, oh my God, I could not stop spraying it. Like it was addictive. So this one, this one has that magic and this one just doesn't. So there you have it. I hope that this was helpful. I hope this comparison kind of gave you guys the knowledge and a little bit more info to figure out whether it's worth investing in the Langen Gold or whether it's worth going for a budget similar smelling fragrance like Hane Mori. So that is how the two of them compare. If you guys found this helpful and enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you guys haven't already and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!